And welcome back to What If. Today's One Shot What If comes to us from Cody Ward, who asked the question, what if Ash had caught the Red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage? Now, ultimately, this isn't going to be, there's a reason this is not a multi-part What If. Uh, because at the end of every, se like, let's call it season, it's more like region of Pokemon, Ash's team always resets to just Pikachu so he can catch basically the new roster for the next region. Uh, but if he, if, if he had caught the Red Gyarados at the Lake of Rage, Pikachu shocks it, and he throws a Pokeball or something like that, and he looks out and catches it. How would that have really changed anything up? Well, first and foremost, he would have had a better shot against um, Cynthia right out of the gate. I have a feeling uh, his team would have consisted of Charizard came back, uh, for, of Charizard, Snorlax, and Gyarados in that. It may have actually been his Gyarados against Cynthia's Gyarados. Uh, and I think the, uh, I think that could have aided them a lot more in that fight. <clears throat> I will say, though, that I think he would have also had a much easier time against Bryce because, uh, or Price, I'm sorry, Price, simply before the fact that it's past signs of ground ice type, Gyarados would have had easy advantage over that guy. And they would have immunity to earth type moves. I think he actually would have been able to have a lot easier time with the Johto, uh, against the remaining two Johto gyms. In the Pokemon, um, in the um, uh, Pokemon League, he lost ultimately to Blaziken. Charizard lost to Blaziken, which when you go from a tight matchup should make no sense. But Charizard lost to Blaziken. If he had Gyarados, and I don't actually even remember how that fight really broke down. Even if... Uh, and I'm actually going to get Ash's league stats right up here right now so I can kind of have a more coherent idea of where he ultimately ended up. Um, Ash, catch him to be the master. Uh, uh, poke him a master. Yeah. Boom, chicka, bop, bop, dop. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. I, I digress. Na, 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 na. Uh, so he was in the, he's, he made it to the top 16 of the Kanto, which wouldn't matter for this. He made it to the top 8 of the Johto, which is good. I think he would have, even if he had beaten, uh, the uh, even if he had beaten Blaziken and won hit that match, I don't think he would have made it to the top. I don't think he would have won. I think it would have been top four. And really, that's where that would end, uh, because that's when his journey reset. And once you get past the initial region he's in, <clears throat> Gyarados showing up would only be a, an occasional thing. Just like any of it, like Charizard are occasionally throwing up, just throwing up, showing up, uh, Snorlax, Tauros, Muck, all of them would occasionally show up. So the question is, would there be any situation where he would go out of his way to go and get Gyarados? I don't think so, at least not in Hoenn. In the uh, Frontier, uh, Frontier Challenge, yeah, I think I think that would have been different. I think he would have um, uh, been been trying to. Um, um, I think he would have used Gyarados for a couple of those frontier challenges. Uh, I don't think Gyarados really would have mattered against. Um, uh, oh God, uh, the guy with the Dark Cry in Latios. Uh, the, in the match against Sinnoh, the infamous match where Darkrai was there. I don't think he would have mattered. Even if he had beaten one extra Mon on that team, he still had a full team to go up uh, to use against him. Uh, in terms of Unova, wouldn't have mattered that much. He barely, didn't really bring anyone back that much anyway. Uh, in Kalos, I don't think so. Honestly, his team was good enough in Kalos. I don't think he would have needed to. Uh, he didn't bring anyone back anyway. And then in Alola, I don't think so either. That was the first Alola. He didn't bring anyone back for Alola either. So <coughs> if, <coughs> if that had happened, I don't think, um, excuse me, if he had caught Red Gyarados, it really wouldn't matter that much. Um, I think he, uh, I think he would have used it appropriately and effectively throughout the Johto region. And then it might have made an occasional appearance in one of the other leagues. That, that's the best I can really say. So it wouldn't have been a huge drastic change. The only other change, though, in terms of the, like the whole world lore is that Lance would not have the Red Gyarados. In the world of Pokemon, Lance has the Red Gyarados. 
So yeah, I don't, I don't see that happening. Anyway, though, I digress. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, you want to review something, put the comments below. Let us know the review of it at some point. Hit that bell if you want to be notified. We're going to pre-record my um, Who Would Win, and that'll be it.